Hello and welcome back to another video. Man, I'm being loud at the moment. Uh, I had some spare time so I thought I'd record. As you can see, the big old window in the background with a nice view of the tree and my little uh, pit bull sim and deciding that she really wants to go and lay down as close as she can get to me. Um, uh, if I lose my train of thought, that's going to be normal because I've been doing things at such a rapid pace as far as my thought process that I'll think through things so quickly and then forget it. Unlike most people who actually take the time to think about what they're going to say next, I usually end up thinking about something two, three days in advance. Kind of hard to believe, but it is true. Uh... Uh... Because this is such a random video, I, I haven't even had time to go and plan out what I'm going to say. Oh. The uh, outside light's still on. So I'm going out to the kitchen just because it's brighter. And when I say brighter, I mean a lot brighter. That brighter. Still can't really see my eyes too well, though. <laughs> ah. Nothing like looking soulless, but, you know, I'll take what I can get. So, as of lately, I've been without any type of internet at all. In fact, the only way I can upload is over my phone using actual regular data or the proper way to say it, data. And so it makes it kind of hard to record and upload and record and upload and record and upload more and more videos. In fact, I started saving up a lot of my videos on my PS4, but I don't even have that hooked up. So, you know, makes for a fun time. Not really all that fun. Uh, kind of funny to think about the fact that most people say, oh yeah, I have stored videos recorded and I can upload them at any time. I'm saying, <laughs> yeah, they're, they're on the PS4, which isn't even hooked up or anything. I got games I can play offline. That's all that matters when it comes to recording. As long as I can play offline, then upload some way or another. It makes a video, I guess. And... I was doing a bit of looking into my phone. Apparently the rear camera is either 13 or 16, I don't know. I'm going to go with 13 megapixels. And the front is, I'm pretty sure it's 5 megapixels. And which isn't all that strong. In fact, when it comes to computers, the stronger it is, the better the resolution. Per se, if I had a uh, attachment, I don't know if they'd make any or anything like that, but I could probably find an attachment online that's a camera that would allow me to shoot 4K instead of at the max the usual 460 or whatever it is that phones run at for recording. Some do get up to 760 actually. I will say that. Some phones are good about that. But... But what was I gonna say? Oh, oh. Oh yeah, my phone isn't the best as far as recording. When it comes to storage-wise, it's got an ungodly amount of storage. 
most people say, hey, look at my new phone, I got four or eight gigabytes of space for standard space on my phone. I can say I've got 30. Yeah. 16 as regular uh, space on my phone, then a 16 gigabyte, but you know, I'm formatting and everything, chopped down 14 gigabyte SD card. So, I work with a lot of space on here. It's great, it's nice, it's, yeah, it's whatever. I look slightly yellow. Hey, my eyes are coming in better and better and... You never realize how ugly you are until you see a video of yourself and then hear yourself talking. Yes, I know, I still say talk like a, you know, standard New York person, but that's what everybody likes. Uh, you know, whatever. I'll talk however I want to talk. Eventually, every small town and everything else will have their accents all blended together. So everybody will have the same accent, but we are not far enough along in U.S. history for that to even happen quite yet. It will happen, but not yet. So not too long ago, I started up doing a little bit of Bitcoin mining. And before you say, well, how do you do that without a computer? I'm using an app on my phone which allows to spin a wheel and I have to look at an ad for 30 seconds or it's a, you know, picture ad for I Google Fiber or things like that. Come on, Cinnamon. I don't, can't see me very well right now. Boo-hoo, you'll have to suffer with it. Come on, Cinnamon, go outside if you're going out. At least I don't have a coating of Vanta Black <laughs> on my body. Because if I did that, I would not be seen whatsoever. So I'm hoping that I can save up to... Okay, that's weird. Whatever. Uh, I'm hoping I can save up to 500,000 what's known as uh, Satoshi, which is the smallest form for a Bitcoin. In fact, one Satoshi is about 0 times 10 to the negative 10th space, for those of you who know scientific notation. If you don't, it don't matter. Just know that's a very small amount, and 500,000 in currency right now would only equal about 500 bucks. But still, 500 bucks is better than nothing. I could, I could buy a new computer. Then start actually mining Bitcoin on my own and making a bit more money doing Bitcoin mining and then upgrade later on to an even better computer. <laughs> but I'm, I'm not so lucky for that to happen quickly. It's, it's going to take a while. Not me getting a computer, but, you know, getting a computer able to mine Bitcoin. Speaking of which, I still got my Pentium 4 hyper-threaded, uh, oh, processor. Still in working condition, it's just a motherboard for my computer's fried. I also happen to own a standard Pentium 4, the, uh, PGA instead of LGA version.
which which the uh, ah my eyes I will not mess around with that the PGA is known as pin grid array for those of you who don't know what computers the terminology and stuff like that is so if you see a processor with pins on the bottom that's PGA and on the uh, motherboard itself where the processor goes is known as a breadboard that uh, when you swing the latch shut it slides the breadboard down and then you can go and put your thermal paste and your heat sink on with your fan however LGA has what's known as a land grid array that is having your processor so it's got little gold pads on instead of gold pins the gold pins are placed onto the motherboard for the socket of the uh, processor, which is what Intel uses for all their processors nowadays. AMD has only used LGA for one processor, and that's their Threadripper, or however it's pronounced. I do believe it's Threadripper, either there, it's Threadstripper or something. Basically, all them two are made for is just having a server grade, you know, uh, processor put in your computer that looks good and performs kind of on the hot side, but isn't really meant for gaming. If you want to get a good processor for gaming, you want to go with a quad core or a hexacore instead of a. Uh, octa-core or deca-core. Quad as known as a four-core, hex is a six-core, oct is an eight-core, and dec is a ten-core. You would think with all them cores that'd make it better for a deca-core computer, but Gaming is heavily relying on to the GPU, which is basically a processor made strictly just for visual. So that way there, it loads all your graphics without you having to expend any of your processing power, which runs all the coding and everything else for whatever game or program you're using. And God, I need a new comb. My hair is sticking up in the back. <laughs> and my nose itches. Of course it does. It's kind of like playing the newest Guitar Hero, which is, as most will know, Guitar Hero Live. Sit there, play for a few seconds, and your back starts to itch. And your nose, and your chin, and your thumb your stomach and eventually it drives you so insane that you have to pause the game and <laughs> start scratching yourself but uh, enough about my nose itching and how playing a video game can cause skin irritation and make you need to itch your skin but Kind of interesting that you wouldn't think that you could mine Bitcoin from a phone, but that's that's what I'm doing. I've got a total of 24 cents saved up right now. <laughs> that's in my Coinbase wallet. Speaking of which, I, I actually I need to open up a bank account if I want to be able to use my Coinbase wallet to its fullest extent and be able to get my money from it. Uh, if I were to go and get money from it now, it, I, I wouldn't even be able to get a quarter. I'd get two dimes and a, four pennies. <laughs> yeah, it's still better than nothing. Oh, hey, the uh, light bulb for that one wax melting thing is back on.
you know, it's gonna melt more wax until it finally decides to blow. That's why the screen flashed and I was slightly bl uh, blinded. There we go. Next cracked and everything. This is running to be a quite long video. I didn't even intend to go for 15 minutes. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking one of these days I will set up my PlayStation 4 and I will go and start recording again on there, but I actually need to go and edit a lot of videos that are on there. Yeah, I I have one of the newer PlayStation 4s that's... It's not the original one that came out that's got that shiny strip on it that covers the hard drive for the plastic. But still, it's a 500 gigabyte version. And I'm thinking I will have to eventually update to a PlayStation 4 Pro because I looked at the specs... And the PS4 Pro comes with one terabyte of space and is about four times better than the original version. Well, I can't say the original version of the PS4, but everybody gets what I mean. It, it's just mine. While it's good for games, I, I tend to have a problem loading up some of the games that I play, like Sword Art Online. Versus, or well, actually, it's Excel Worlds versus Sword Art Online. Yeah, as soon as I click on it, sometimes it freezes up the whole system, and I have to go and shut her down and start it back up. And it says, oh, well, the PS4 was shut down improperly. You need to... Go and let this run to check to see if anything's damaged. And if there is, we will try and fix it. This could take anywhere between five minutes and four hours. Man, I've seen that screen a lot. That was mostly seeing it on the PS3 while I still had one of them. I still liked having a PS3 because I... I was able to go and play games like Grand Theft Auto V and... Hack the game, the story version of the game, so I could have the maximum amount of money, then put it onto a thing for an investment, and then do it again and put even more money into that investment and keep doing it over and over, then take it all out at once and have above the maximum amount, which did not surprisingly break the video game. Or the PS3. Yeah, it was fun. I liked having over nine billion dollars. Well, ninety-nine billion nine hundred ninety-nine million nine hundred ninety-nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine dollars. And the game. Yeah, imagine what I could do if I actually had that in real life. Probably won't be on YouTube. The way I am now, I'd probably be in a computer room in some high-rise somewheres. Completely miserable, which I am all the time anyways. But yet still doing videos kind of like this and making them funny, making people laugh at me. Yeah, as long as I can make somebody laugh, it's... Good enough for me. Ooh. There we go. Hmm. Man, this is a, a good light set right there. It really is. It's so good that if you look directly at it, you'll go blind. Well, you know, if you look at it long enough. Uh... Yeah, so this is going to be the end of the video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think.
uh, about any of the videos I've uploaded. And uh, please write questions as to, you know, if you want to know something more about me, write some kind of question or something like that. I, I really, I accept almost all questions. There are some things that I do find too personal. I do like my personal privacy. Uh, but again, like, comment, subscribe, and share if you feel the desire to. I can't actually force people to do things because that would be assault. So, you know, all that good stuff and see you next time.